good evening ladies and gentlemen. We are now live at Gor Kertajaya Surabaya Indonesia for an epic battle between the home team, the CLS Knights Indonesia, where tonight they are on a special mission to break their losing streak against the visiting team, the giant Chong Sun Kung Fu from China. Well, good evening everybody. My name is Dion Edward acting as your host for tonight and alongside of me is Abi Bayu is going to be our commentator for tonight. Well, Happy New Year everybody and Abi Bayu for tonight. Is it going to be a mission impossible or a mission possible for the home team? Happy New Year Dion and Happy New Year to you, especially society, night society and answering your question. For some people, this is David versus Goliath game. But we must remember that in basketball, impossible is nothing. So as we can also remember that last game, the CLS Knights between the game between the Knights against the Slingers, they lost at this exact stadium, the Gor Kartajaya, and it affects the standings of the Asian Basketball League, where tonight the home team is sitting at the bottom position with one wins and four losses, facing the second team on the league, the Chanson Kung Fu from China, with three wins and zero losses. Yes, this Chanson Kung Fu Basketball Club has a great start for this season. They are facing now one of the greatest basketball team to Indonesia, Chalice Nice Indonesia. So as we can see, the last game of the Chongsun Kung Fu is like five weeks ago against yeah. the West Sports yes. Malaysia Dragons. True. So it's going to be rusty for them. And of course, their last game, which is for the home team, the CLS Knights Indonesia, we can see on your local screen, the CLS Knights Indonesia against the Singapore Slingers, where CLS Knights just got dominated by this one player. And this guy is Xavier Alexander. Yeah, man, we were talking about Xavier Alexander's AK X Mana, uh, number 15. He's he's awesome, man. Come on, he's slicing and dicing, uh, getting into the rim. We gotta we gotta protect our ring better on this game, on this on this evening. So Xavier Alexander just dominating the CLS Nice Indonesia with 39 points at the game. And also, you can see at your screen the statistic for the CLS Knights Indonesia against the Singapore Slingers. They got 24 turnovers. This is the one thing that the CLS Knights got to do. I don't, I, well, and this is this is this is the key points for CLS. They they need they need to take care of the turnover. They need to. Outbox all the players in a in a in full opponents for us. As we can see also on your screen, they committed like 24 fouls and got out rebounded by the Singapore Slingers. So the rebound is going to be a key factor. But this guy on your screen, Frederick Lish, who just became a daddy two weeks ago with a baby daughter. Leo, Athena Leone Lish. We've got to give a shout out for Freddie Lish. Congratulations. Congratulations, Freddy. Papi. Yes, <laughs> I believe this will be a new spirit for him too. He's averaging 16.8 points per game, 3.5 rebound per games, and 2.5 assists per games. Well, I believe I believe he can play better than this. Cause because you know he's averaging 4.2 rebounds per game, 4.3 assists per game. And he's also averaging 16.4 points per game. So we expect better from him. Freddie Lish is an all-around player who can create his own shot. But this guy, the floor general, the 38-years-old Mario Wisang, last game against the Singapore Slingers, he scored 10 points with 8 assists on their stats. So it's a good game for Mario, and we expect a good game also from Mario in this game. Well, he ranks six on the top as his leaders player with 5.6 assists per game. And we're seeing now the Chungsun Kung Fu Basketball Club, Dion. Yeah, the Chongsun Basketball Club is also dominating on their every game. Last game, they defeated the West Force Malaysia Dragons behind these two players, their key players that very uh, dominating inside and outside. If we're talking inside, it's this guy, Justin, Justin Howard. Howard. Justin Barrow Howard, number two on the top. Total rebounds with 15 rebounds per game. He has a great career. He's starring in the Asian Basketball League for almost four years. 
So also he is the reigning defensive player of the year for Justin Howard. And also this guy is getting my vote on the MPP race this season, Anthony Tucker. Could not agree more with you, Dion Anthony Tucker. He averaging almost a triple double with 24.5 points per game, 10 rebounds per game, and 7.5 assists per game. He is the Russell Westbrook of Assistant Basketball League. Yeah, I also watch his game. He reminds me a lot of James Harden with his fancy, uh, not too fancy dribble, but very elusive play and a great spot up shooter. Anthony Tucker, 28 years old, six. In, uh, six foot four inches world import from Minnesota. And so, more, and what, what, what keep it more interesting? And with Anthony Tucker, we they also have a new players, McKinney. And also, this is the umpire and the referee in charge tonight. We gotta give a shout out to them who's working hard to yep. officiate this game. And we can see, uh, Abi, on your screen, we are going to prepare the starting lineup for both teams. So this is the team presentation. Jersey number 11, Yu Huang. Jersey number 17, Chang Re He. Jersey number 27, Chan Kun Liu. Jersey number 36, Swai Song. And it is starting five of Chang Sun Kung Fu Basketball Club. Jersey number one, Anthony Tucker. Jersey number five, Helen Tiongson. Jersey number 14, Guy Koo. Jersey number 26, Michael Alexander McKinney. And jersey number 55, Captain Justin Howard. And coach Charles Kupi, Brian Tashitiko, Pedrak Luki. From Song Song Kupi Basketball Club. your crowd control. Please welcome JLS Knights Indonesia. Starting five. Jersey number one, Frederick Lee John Lee's the Almighty. Jersey number five, Mario the Living Legend Luisa. Jersey number 23, Brian Michael Williams, Jersey number nine, Al Capi. 
Warmer, Philippines, a fire war. We should leave from Malaysia. A bear to Ming Lusu from Taipei and Commissioner Ibnu Susilo from Indonesia. Oke, okay, kami harapkan seluruh penonton di Gor Celes Kertajaya boleh bangkit berdiri sejenak, boleh melepas topinya. You guys stand up and put off your hats. Kita akan menyanyikan lagu kebangsaan Indonesia, Indonesia Raya. The National Anthem, Indonesia Raya. Surabaya, Indonesia. We need your energy tonight. So that was the national anthem of Indonesia. It's called the Indonesia Raya. And on your screen right now, you can see the starting five of the Changsun Kung Fu from China. Number one, we have Anthony Tucker. He's a, we already talked about this guy. And, but we, not, we must not forget the number 14, Guo Kai. And he's one of the greatest player in China. He's actually number one pick from the last season draft in CBL. On the CBA, he is one of the great local player for the Chongsun Kung Fu from China. He's 24 and years old. Yeah, he's a force to be reckoned yes, with. Yes, and he's almost six, seven feet tall. And of course, his center, the center for the Chongsun Kung Fu is Justin Howard is going to play a big factor, but now we can see on the bench, the coach is still talking the strategy how to contain the Changson Kung Fu. I'm, I'm sure we already prepared a great game plan. I talked to Wisno, I talked to the coach Coco, and they are prepared. They are very well prepared for tonight's game. So we can see that the Changson Kung Fu from China, they have a very a great style of play. They like to cut and slice with spacing around the perimeter. And, so they're, it's, yeah. and they're very aware of the floor, Dion. Because of Anthony Tucker. Yes, he, he has a great vision. To, yeah, Anthony Tucker likes to play uh, with the pick and roll style. Now they have a new player, McKinney. They have to adjust to one another, but I, be, I believe this, this is a great team. And they already have a great strategy you know, for blending those players together. So we can see that tonight is a proving state of the CLS Knights Indonesia. They are trying to make it on the playoff. They are now standing in the bottom of the league, but they are trying to bounce back and trying to steal the playoff position. Yes, we need this W and we have to take it one game at a time. So this guy is going to play a big factor. I don't know who is uh, Freddy is going to guard. Is it a matchup between Freddy against Anthony or they are going to play the Corey Jones maybe against 
uh, Anthony Tucker. We're gonna see about that very, very soon. But one thing for sure, the Knights need to win tonight if they are going to make it on the playoffs. And the player who needs to step up is their local. Yes. True. One, one thing about the lo their local is Sandy Fabiancia is going to be a good key factor. Key also. Factors here. A key factor with his sniping three pointers. Yes, that's, that's actually one of the key factors into the game that I already wrote down. The local players need to step up. I mean, they move. They need to move the ball because they're facing a tall, tall team like Chongsun Kung Fu. They need to move the ball. They need to maintain the same energy throughout the games. We're, we're basically we're losing energy at the second half from our past five games, Dion. All right, the beginning of the first quarter with this tip off right now. We are going to watch a game between the CLS Knights Indonesia against the Chongsun Kung Fu from China. Let the battle. Begins. begins the tip off between Justin Howard against the Corey Jones first possession going to the Chong Sun Kung Fu with Anthony Tucker acting as their forward general where tonight he's trying to face the first time against the CLS Knights Indonesia as you can see this is Guo Kai losing the ball first turnover for the Chong Sun Kung Fu first turnovers in 2018 for both of the team as you see, well, if you if you pay attention to Guokai, he always have the tape on the right arm. Yeah. I don't know whether it's a good luck or uh, you know <laughs> make it play well. But as we can see, also the CLS Knights missed their first field goal. Meantime, Justin Howard makes the deuce. Both of the center make the first shot, but uh, Justin Howard can connect it. Very, very well. So Justin Howard also is a good perimeter shooter. One thing that is also one of his arsenal. Freddie Lynch from the baseline still cannot connect. Anthony Tucker giving the instruction. Justin Howard, which we can see, trying to push inside. But is this great play by the new acquisition, Mike McKinney. This is oh, local very well. for the Talking about a local player needs to set up and Sandy yeah. step it up really, really well. Good start for the Knights. Sandy with his first shot for the triple. The, the Curry Jones. Yeah, good rebound. Ryan Williams finding the open. Sandy for. I thought it's going uh, to be it's, a it's money. Be money. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. But also on the floor right now for the Johnson Kung Fu. Anthony Tucker, Kylan Tiong Son, and Guo Kai, and also Justin Howard playing for the Chong Son Kung Fu. Mario Wisang leading the breakaway, trying to score, but great play, finding the Corey Jones for the deuce. This is what we expect from the guy, the Corey Jones. He had a holiday in Bali. Well, actually, on the first game, the Corey was recovering from the food poisoning and that's why maybe one of the factors that uh, why they play, uh, play not really well Jiang Son on the offensive rebound drawing the fouls on the CLS Knights players the first foul on the Knights Jiang Son is going to the charity stripes for two free throws well Chung actually Tiong Sun is a very athletic player. But he's not a good free throw. He's not a good free throw. Yes, that, that's for sure. But he can guard very, very well. He's, he's one of the most effective players in the Chong Sun Kung Fu. And he missed the first one. This is for the second free throw from Chalan Tiong Sun. Also the heritage import for the Kung Fu. Nice post out from the, from the Chalice Knights. Meantime, the Knights is going trying to score again Freddy Lish a new daddy also having a great motivation on his back playing for her daughter back again Ryan Williams but unfortunately a turnover and uh, Kung Fu players with Justin Howard inside with a great 
That's a, that's a rare miss from Justin Howard. As uh, as we know, he's very inspective inside. Warm up, Mane! Once again, Sandy with a quick three-pointer. And a quick timeout from the Changsun Kung Fu. A good timeout right there by Coach Charles calling a timeout, trying to cut the momentum for the CLS Knights Indonesia with Sandy making the two quick three-pointers. As you can see in the replay here, Gion. 46% from the arc, as we expect from one of the best shooter. Maybe in the world. Sniper, yeah, <laughs> well. But it's a great job by Mario Wiesang finding the open guy in Sandy, who's feeling it tonight, scoring quick six points for the CLS Knights. And it makes a six-point game between the Knights against the Kung Fu. But we must remember that we must not let our guard down. This is what, what keeps happening to CLS Knights. We, we keep on leading on the first quarter, second quarter, and we're losing it on the, on the second half. But a quick timeout called by Coach Charles, trying to stop the momentum for the CLS Knights Indonesia. It's a good start by the home team. Justin Howard is still trying to find his game tonight. But it's a good and a great battle between him against Brian Williams. Yeah, we are yet to see the full potential of the players from Changsun Kung Fu. A foul again called by the referee against the CLS Knights in Indonesia. This time it's against Brian Williams, who fouled Anthony Tucker, who's trying to penetrate inside. That's the kind of guy Anthony Tucker is. Not afraid to drive into the rim. He made the first free throw. Anthony Tucker is a lethal shooter. I think he's missed it, Dion. He missed that? Yeah, he's, he, I think he did miss it. I thought it went in. 71% <laughs> of free throw percentage during his career. So it's a good thing he missed. Oh, now no, he, he, no, he made this one. He made that one. So the score is now 8 to 3. CLS Knights leads by 5 points. Under 7 minutes into the game. So we can see Freddy Lish with the great ball handling and crossover. Almost a turnover there by Freddy. But again, as you can hear the crowd, Mario Wiesang with a great money, money. shot. Another money three ball. points. A good start by the Knights. Anthony Tucker trying to Pass inside to Justin Howard. This is the new signing, Mike McKinney. Back again to Tucker. 26, McKinney for three. As you can rebound. see on the screen, Freddy is not afraid at all facing a taller player like Young Sun. Young Sun. Yeah. Also a screen there by Guo Kai. Pick and roll, Guo Kai. Two seconds. And he made it. Great footwork there by Guo Kai making the two-point play for the Chongsun Kung Fu. A foul there by Anthony Tucker against Mario Wisang. This is the first foul for the Chongsun Kung Fu. Five minutes, 50 seconds to go in this first quarter of an epic battle between the CLS Knights Indonesia against the Kung Fu. Chongsun Kung Fu. Is against a quick foul, Abi. A quick foul? Quick foul there by a defensive foul against the Johnson Kung Fu called by the referee. Well, and well, if you if you if you're watching this live on video.com or YouTube or MNC, maybe you cannot see it very clearly. But let's rest. Let's keep leave it to the referee. Yeah, two fouls each between these two teams. Two for the Knights. Two for the Kung Fu. This is going to be a good factor or a key factor to maintain the foul trouble. Mario Wisang is still controlling quick three. And he makes it for the money! We can see that the uh, holiday, the Christmas holiday is really effective for the players from the Chelsea Knights. Is it a Christmas gift for us? <laughs> a late Christmas gift for the Knights. But you know what? 
after suffering four losses, they need that holiday just to keep their mind fresh moving on yeah, to I this know. game. It's a, it's a bad turnover. As you know, we already talked about this. A turnover is one of the factors that make us made us lose four losses, four streak losses, right? Yeah, against the Slingers, they committed 24 turnovers. Yeah, that's and it, that cost them the game. So the score is 14 for the Knights. Kung Fu, five, but that is a good shot there by Anthony Tucker. Two pointers make it a seven for yeah. the Kung Fu. As, as, as expected from one of the lateral shooter in ABL, he's a great play, point guard, but we must not worry about what That's got. That's He is feeling it, folks. Mario Wiesung is feeling it. Back to back, three pointers for the Knights. Man, oh man. Aren't we all excited for this game? Nice society, let's all check out for this game and a great defensive. Brian Williams, great defense there. Challenging Gokai. Mario, is it going to be a three? But good offensive rebound by the Cody Jones. He put back in. This is deuce. what I'm talking about. No more foot poisoning for the Cody Aaron Jones. Yeah, great energy from Deco. So Anthony Tucker trying to answer us right back. Bounces off the rim. Sandy finding Deco. The referee calls it a foul on Anthony Tucker. He doesn't like that, folks. He 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 gotta be careful about you know like his emotion during uh, throughout the game because he might get a technical fall for that. I know it's it's still early and they are uh, trailing by 12 points. And then he needs to be careful there. Yeah, Anthony Tucker did not like that call at all. And now you know what. Anthony Tucker is already having a foul on his name. So he needs to be careful. He is a key factor for this team. Having 12-point deficit for the Knights. He's trying to stretch it into more lead this quarter. With four minutes to go. Deco. Fans race inside. Finding Ryan from the corner. Four. Oh, my. Five. It's raining money right here at Gor Kertajaya for the night. Can we can we can we play the song from BTS with fire? Because <laughs> they're on fire. I mean. They're on fire on this evening. Maybe it's raining outside. Yeah. And but it's raining ball inside here. <laughs> raining three, Abi, <Abby. laughs> Sandy, Mario, and Brian. Oh my God. Yes. Raining money. Oh, but now but as you can see on the screen, Dion. Brian is on, is in pain. Is uncomfortable, uncomfortable uh, with the, uh, oh, it's, I guess it's an elbow from Justin, Justin Howard. Howard. Yeah, maybe. But, but I know he's a tough he, guy. He's a tough guy indeed. He he's playing guy. with a sore ankle and an injury for this past five games for the Knights. Brian Williams is truly a warrior. And truly a Knights. A quick pass inside uh, to the front. But Mike McKinney just chases that long pass from Brian Williams. Again, a miss by the Kung Fu player, but Justin Howard put it back for two with the hook. Well, this this is very odd game for Anthony Tucker. You know, he, he almost has a great uh, three-point percentage, 58 three-point percentage. Wow, he is a lethal sniper, but we did not see right now. Yeah. Well, this is a good sign for Chalice Knights. Yeah, I but guess. it's still in the first quarter, Abby. Yes. We got three more quarters to go. And we are under four minutes. Under four minutes to go. Three minutes, 20 seconds to be exact. With Justin Howard is now standing in the line, shooting the free throws for the Chan Song Kung Fu. He makes that. He, you know, Justin Howard is uh, very effective under the ring, and he is very effective from the charity stripe too. And he, also, he is the reigning defensive player of the year for the Asian Basketball League. So it's going to be a great battle between him and Brian Williams. Is also holding the record for the most rebound in the game with 32 rebounds in one game. Yeah, that's a, that's a, an awesome record, a record for uh, Brian Williams. We... Yeah, as we can see in the screen, this is the first action for Mike McKinney. 
They call that a foul on Brian. Was it a foul on Brian or? A but it's not a shooting foul. And the Chang Sun Kung Fu is trailing by 12 points. They're trying to short things with a triple by Pyong Son, but he missed. Well, this is a great great game plan for Chelsea Knights. They know they're at the disadvantage from uh, their tall players from Chongsun Kung Fu, though. So they play it outside. They move the ball around. But, well, obviously, it's not this, not this play. But uh, yeah. not a turnover for Chelsea Knights. A miscommunication between Mario and Ryan, maybe trying to tap the pass to the cutting to Corey Jones on the left side. Another turnover for the Knights. They're shooting pretty well, but the turnovers, they need to commit less turnover in this game. This is Michael McKinney, 25 years old, 6 feet. He's actually named Big Sky Conference first team twice and an All-American back in 2015. So uh, that's, a, that's like a normal play for him. He's going for the Trinity strike. Mike McKinney, he is... Another heritage import replacing Jonathan Bermillo. And in the college state, he's averaging 19.2 for the second of the state university. Nice drive from Justin, uh, sorry, for uh, Freddy Leach. So it makes a 12 point game for the CLS Knights with that penetration from Freddy Leach. Again, Mike McKinney. With the teardrops floater, but oh. he missed that one. Another rebound for Brian Williams. Trying for to the lion of the game. Is it gonna be another money? Oh. <laughs> but still, CLS Knights basketball with great find by Mario Wisang for the Cody Jones and get fouled inside by the Kung Fu. This is I mean like the Corey Jones say told me that, you know, on the first game I was like kind of confused you know what to do do i need to step up do i need to pass the ball around but i guess tonight he knows his role already yeah he is replacing uh evan brock is also being signed because of injury by duke cruz he needs to be the energy guy for the cls knights indonesia well if we're talking about energy as we uh this morning and the late practice of Chelsea, I can see uh, they have a positive energy throughout the practice. And we can see a great start from Chelsea Knights, 24 to 12, 12, 12 leading towards the uh, Chongsun Kung Fu. One minute, 49 seconds to go in this first quarter. A comfortable lead, a 13-point lead for the CLS Knights Indonesia behind that two free throws from the Cody Jones. And still Anthony Tucker being the floor general for the Kung Fu no-look pass outside to number 17. 12, uh, 17. It's a great three-point shooter, Chong Ren Hei. He made that three-point to cut the lead to be 10 points. Early in the game, you ask, you, you doubt that uh, you question who's going to guard uh, Freddie Leach and who's going to guard who, right? Now yeah. you see that McKinney is guarding Freddie Leach. He's the same type of player, the slicing, dicing type of players. And uh, I have a very interesting matchup between these two guys. So this is also one of the local players. Katon, the left-handed players for the CLS Knights Indonesia. Ari for two, he missed that one. Anthony Tucker gather the defensive rebound and trying to cut the lead into single digit tonight. Again, good job by the Corey Jones poking the ball from Tiong Son's hands. Uh, one minute to go, Abi, be before we go to the second quarter. One minute and one second. A great first quarter for Shellis Knights. Especially their three-point shootings. Justin Howard trying to post up inside, finding Anthony Tucker for three. That what he is best known of for the three-pointer. Yeah, he, Anthony Anthony Tucker. You know, when when asked about his favorite players, he said that my favorite player of all time is Gilbert Arenas. Yeah. So that's why maybe that's why he's playing like one. Yeah, he played like the, like the agent zero, yes. Gilbert Arenas. Meantime, a foul call by Justin Howard. Brian Williams trying to penetrate inside with the running hook. 
but get, get in contact by Justin Howard. You yeah. can see the replay, Abby. A lot of contacts. A nice fake from Brian Williams. That's definitely contacts. Yeah, but Justin Howard didn't even like that call <laughs> yes. at all against Brian Williams. He's also a good free throw shooter. He's going to the line for the second. He makes the first one. The yes. House loves it. He's a 60% free throw shooter, not bad for a big guy like him. And, uh, well, actually, he has a 47% of three point. Yeah, he's a good field goal. Shooter all around. Yeah. Mid range, three pointer, and also free throw for sure. Two of two from the charity stripes. They need to take the advantage from the free throw line. They cannot miss their free throws if they are going to win tonight. They want it. They need to make it. A we foul. see that. Is that Arif? Arif Hidayat with the first personal foul against Anthony Tucker. It's Arif, a foul trouble for the CLS Knights Indonesia. Yeah, well, Arif, well, we gotta, we gotta give some credits to Arif. Arif, Arif is one of the, you know, like, not not a really under six feet players. Yeah, one of the smallest player in the league, but he played like a big man. Anthony Tucker make his first free throw. Actually, he made both free throw tonight. Again. Under 30 seconds to go for the first quarter. Once the lead was 12 points, but tonight they cut by seven points. This is one of the homeworks for Chelsea Knights, keeping the same energy throughout the games, especially when you have a great leading scores. And they miss the field goal with 10 seconds to go. They each have five fouls behind their back. 10, 7, 6, six under five. 5 seconds. And they lost the ball with 3 seconds to go. Can the CLS Knights Indonesia score in this last 3 seconds? Who will they go to? They go to Arif for the half-court shot. And... <laughs> it's too missed. bad. The crowd is going crazy if that play went in. Yes. The end of the first quarter, CLS Knights is leading by seven points. CLS Knights 27 and Johnson Kung Fu with 20 points. So it's a good quarter, Abi, especially for the home team. Well, it's a, it's a, it's a great quarter. You know, they move the ball around. They, they space out, you know. CLS Knights, as we can see right after this, we're going to play the replay of the highlights of the first quarter. From yeah. Chelsea Knights and uh, Chongsun Kung Fu Dion. They lead by seven points, 27 to 20 against the visiting team behind a great three-point shooting for the Knights Indonesia. But we are going to the second quarter. Right after this, we are going to have a quick break. But before that, we are going to see the highlights for the first quarter uh, between the CLS Knights Indonesia and against the Chongsun Kung Fu. As we can see it here, Sandy is making his two quick three-pointers. Mario also making make it raining here. And the three-pointers for the CLS Knights Indonesia carry them into a great lead, a great quarter, 27-22 against the Chongsun Kung Fu. But you know what, Abi? We are going to take a short break, so guys, don't go anywhere. We are going to be back right here with more ABL basketball action.
Beginning of the second quarter, CLS Knights Indonesia against Chong Sun Kung Fu. And the first possession by the Chong Sun Kung Fu scored. Makes it a five points. Difference from uh, this both player, both team. Another three from Brian Williams. Fortunately, they missed. And a fast break. Justin Howard is already in the front for the two-headed jam. That's another homework, you know, like transition defense for Chelsea Knights is always a problem for uh, the home team. Yeah, not bad for an old guy, right? Well, yeah. Look, Justin Howard is in front leading the breakaway as we can see in the replay for the easy two-handed jab. Well, actually, he's not really defending. <laughs> he just waits for the ball. You know, when, uh, when we made it a turnover and then he just waits patiently and calmly. Well, 36 years old, but he still has a lot on his tank. Yeah, quick two field goal by the Johnson Kung Fu and Coach Coco just quick timeout. This is the same situation for the Johnson Kung Fu in the first quarter when Sandy is making two quick three pointers and then Coach Charles just call it a timeout. But now Coach Coco is called a call, uh, quick timeout also. Yes, this is definitely a shock to Johnson Kung Fu. Maybe they did not even expect that from Chelsea Knights. You know, showing the range from the beyond the arc and showing the bold movement. And now they are adapting to the Chelsea Knights plays and they're making a better place. Just under one minute on the second quarter, the Johnson Kung Fu cuts the lead into three point lead. So they need the Chelsea Knights Indonesia need to find their groove, their rhythm in the second quarter. Now and they have uh, Arif Katon. And we can see Brian Arif Williams. Is, is not playing last game against the Singapore Slingers because they have a, uh, Arif had an exam. And this is they're trying to score again on the defensive offensive rebound. Another shot. Still a miss. Arif Hidayat still in the game. Trying to score for the CLS Knights Indonesia. But he still miss. And this time, Johnson Kung Fu is trying to take the advantage oh. over that missed field goal. A rare break miss away. Justin Hidayat. Justin Howard. Great layup there. Great play by Chelsea Knights. Great drive. And a quick two. This is the thing that they need to do. Play in the quick transition offense. Yeah, let's not fall into the opponent's place. Let's keep it at our uh, basketball of Chelsea Knights. A fast break from B-Boy. Passing to Arif Hidayat. Still missed the field goal. And Anthony Tucker is still on the field with Justin Howard with a great skill. He missed the field goal from the key. Do you think the weather of Surabaya affect the uh, the percentage of this Changsun and Kufu? Yeah, you know? because <laughs> we, we asked them uh, like at 11 The first impression, yeah. They are they're having the shoot around. The one thing that I asked them is, how do you like Surabaya? They told me that it was freaking hot. <laughs> Yeah, they told us that Singapore is hot, but this is like the definition of hot. Mike McKinney, the new acquirement, passing Justin Howard inside, getting blocked by the Corey Jones. Another Again, block. by Brian Williams. Get great defense inside for the CLS Knights Indonesia. Brian Williams already have a one block shots on the first quarter, and now he add another one to his scoring sheet. And also a great defensive play by the Corey Jones acknowledge the move by Justin Howard and then he blocks it and then got one more block from Brian Williams. Thailand Kyung Son making move inside for the left hand but he puts back in his own miss. Mario Wisang is also having a great first quarter. Now leading the way for the CLS Knights Indonesia. 
That's the first score from uh, Tiong Son actually on this game. And Freddie Lynch misses the three-point attempt from the corner. Again, they go to Kalen Tiong Son, but a great poke by B-Boy. Mario Wisang passes to B-Boy. Great two-point play. Great connection between Mario and B-Boy. Back to five points lead for Chalice Knights. Under seven minutes to go. Still a five-point lead by the CLS Knights Indonesia. They are pressuring Anthony Tucker. What a great screen by Justin Howard. And a turnover by Anthony Tucker. Trying to pass to Mike McKinney. But a miscommunication lead to a turnover. On my, on my personal opinion, they are playing under the weather today. You know, it's very rare for Anthony Tucker to uh, make it a turnover for that. Again, Brian Williams. Having the advantage, great move for the two-point play against Justin Howard in the post-up. Great two-point play by Brian Williams. Great matchup between him against Justin Howard. Jalen Tiongson to Justin Howard, a fake. A quick two-pointers, but miss. And Mario is leading the breakaway. Freddy finding Brian inside, mismatch. A charge called by the referee. I believe all the night society here doesn't do not agree with the referee decision. But hey, man, just, they're just doing their job. <laughs> Let's just see the replay here. A great defensive oh, that's, play that's, by Anthony Tucker. That's a charge. That's a charge. That's a charge. <laughs> and Brian Williams still complaining about that call. Well, the, the play must go on. Yeah, that's that's one of the powers of Chelsea Knights. The six players, you know, we, they never expect a easy win for uh, when you play in Indonesia, especially against the undefeated teams. In Chongsun Kung Fu has a great player. One of them is number seventeen who took the shot. Chong Ren Hei, but Mike McKinney with a great speed, what a jumper! Still miss. Still having not a good game for Mike McKinney. He sure is a fast player. A char a Coach Charles told me that. Whoa, that's a bad turn off actually, but uh, from a uh, B-boy. Well, back to Coach Charles. He told us that uh, McKinney is one of the players that, you know, like hustle yeah. players. Also can score in a variety of ways. As a dynamic player. Unafraid to turn. Whoa. Anthony Tucker from that's a brave, way downtown. That's, that's a brave shot. Yeah. That's a very ambitious shot from uh, Anthony Tucker. But Anthony Tucker can make that shot for sure. But it doesn't connect. But Mario is trying to answer right back. Still miss. So it's still a seven-point game with five minutes to go in the second quarter. Between we move on to the second half. Wokai with the rebound. This is also an advantage for the Chongsun Kung Fu. Their height. But a great rebound. Almost a block shot there by Brian Williams. McKinney finding... Well, hi for the open shot. Fortunately, yep, they missed the shot. Yeah, but a great rebound by Brian Williams finding Mario Wisang. Also finding the new daddy, Freddy Lish. Ambitious shot. Unable to drive into the rim. It still is a close game between these two teams. Seven Mike points McKinney from the corner. Difference. He makes his first three points in the Asian basketball. Cut it to four in uh, another timeout from Chalice Knights. Because they play a little sloppy, Abby. Yeah, I always get the fives, even though Chalice Knights is uh, leading. I don't know why, but I always get the five that we are trailing. <laughs> you know, even though even though Chalice Knights is, is leading the score. Yeah. I guess, I guess that's a... That's, 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 that's what Coach Coco say that we have to keep the power, the energy at the same level throughout the game. But it's actually a good mentality to feel trailed behind. So they didn't get comfortable for well, like that's, that's for true. only four point lead. It's not a comfortable lead for the CLS Knights Indonesia. The Kung Fu can like answers with a quick three pointers play or quick play in seconds. Yes, yeah, so well, from the stats of Chongsun Kung Fu Basketball, they only have 30% percentage from the three points from the first quarter. 
This is a goal, great ball movement for the Changsun Kung Fu finding Mike McKinney on the corner for the three-point play. With four minutes, 25 seconds to go in the second quarter between the home team, CLS Knights Indonesia, is leading with 33 points against the visiting team, Kung Fu, Changsun Kung Fu from China, 29. As you see, a nice society is always... Very cool. motivated. Yeah. <laughs> I'm thankful that the CLS Knights is putting Sandy back on the court because his shooting ability, his three-pointer always lifts up the energy for the players and also for the crowd. Yeah, especially when he uh, hot like tonight. He's making two three-pointers from three attempts. Always is a first option for Sandy to hit the three-point, but that floater is just short for Sandy. Against Ali Yup to Kuo Kai. We and mentioned before that we must aware of this uh, local player's power and ability to move around the rim and to rise up and score. Pull up jumper by Sandy. Answered right back for the CLS Knights Indonesia. Number nine. The Samurai. The, screen. Yeah. the Samurai of CLS Knights. And can slice up great oh. for three again. A foul called by the referee against the Corey Jones. Was that a foul? A shooting foul called by the referee. That one is maybe called for the Corey Jones. And also, as you can see in the screen, the time for the second quarter is three minutes, 41 seconds to go. And the CLS Knights still leading by five points. Kind of. Um, maybe we can see the 50-50 quarter for uh, this is a quite balanced quarter. Yeah, this for is this quite team. this is a quite balanced quarter, and they, they have a great start on the first quarter, and then it's getting downhill on the on the second second quarter, and this is uh, this is a uh, homework for all of the uh, China uh, Ch Chalice Knights player. Yeah, the Knights wins their first quarter, but the second quarter is we can call it even, Stephen, with. Three minutes, 41 seconds to go. Still a timeout called by Coach Coco. Especially, I expect more from Dick Corey. He's uh, 27 years old. We expect energy from him. An up-tempo guy, versatile team player. He can actually defend. You know, he's a, he's a great defender. Yeah, because Dick Corey, Aaron Jones, or we call him Dico. As you can see, maybe he's not scoring a lot he's not uh, rebounding a lot but you know what his energy his off the ball game is pretty good as we can see also when he blocks justin howard for the at the second quarter this is guo kai the local player for the chongsun kung fu he just arrived today from guangzhou china just arrived at 11 a.m today to surabaya so he's going maybe he's still having a jet lag or something yeah no wonder no, no wonder why we didn't see him on the practice early in the morning mario Wisan pull up jumper oh he's almost made it he's feeling it tonight just rolled up in the rim anthony tucker is a great general for the Chongsun Kung Fu. Number 14, Guo Kai with the easy deuce under the rim. We can see the role of Brian Williams from the play, where we rest him. We, he needs to rest though. He, 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 he plays almost like 45 minutes from the last game. And we see the, the, first, the important role of Brian Williams inside to protect the rim. In time, the Cody Jones misses the three points attempt for the CLS Knights Indonesia. It's just a two point game between these two teams. Mike McKinney is very aggressive and trying to score and even things up. But maybe with three under three minutes to go, the ball is still on Gokai's hands. He's on a foul for uh, Firman. A foul on Firman. Dwayne Groha. Number 16 on your screen. If, if, you, if, you, if you're monitoring the uh, Instagram of Shellas Knight, Firman is the guy who always got posterized 
<laughs> by Duke Cruz, yeah. by the Corey. He's always the guy who gets posterized on the pictures of uh, Chelas Nice. And he, he made a good poster for everybody. Yeah, don't forget to follow <laughs> the Instagram of the CLS Knights or maybe Firman's account. <laughs> <laughs> At least he got a follow from you guys. And right now, Guokai can make it even for these two teams with his two free throws. Not a great, not a great shooter from a charity stripe. He's all he's averaging 30% from the free throw line. But he makes the first free throw, Abi. Yes. And he made the second one. Just landed today, folks. Joining his teammates, and he missed the second free throw. Told you before. <laughs> Still under three minutes to go. CLS Knights already has two fouls. And also Kang Fu is still pretty secure with zero fouls this quarter. Yeah. Rudy Lingganai, this oh. is also a, a heritage player for the CLS Knights Indonesia playing his second game tonight in front of the home fans. 31 years old, 5 feet and 9 inch heritage for from the Philippines. Trying to pass inside to Mario Wiesem, but Anthony Tucker wrapped that pass and steals the ball. Almost lost the ball, but he can secure it. Again, to number 17 for the three. Chong Ren He, he missed that shot. That's uh, unfortunate miss. You see that Kuo Kai make a great screen. So he make a space for another, uh, his teammate, so he can shoot it without someone guarding him. So this is interesting. Rudy Lingana is playing beside Mario Wisang, the double or combo guard for the CLS Knights Indonesia. Great fake for the three, but still cannot connect. No three pointers for the uh, CLS Knights. On the second Knights. quarter. This second quarter, Abby. There's a really big difference from the first quarter. It was like everyone made it, made it rain. It means a good adjustment by Coach Charles. Meantime, we're talking about three pointers. Anthony Tucker just made one and giving the lead for the Chongsun Kung Fu. The first lead for Chongsun Kung Fu. Can you make it back? Is that a three point? Yeah, that's a that's a Mare! I thought he stepped the line at that play. No, that's a three point. So it's a lead back to the CLS Knights Indonesia with one minute 20 seconds to go. Anthony Tucker, the lethal shooter from the three pointer. Ooh. Almost a putback dunk by Tiong Son. It's going to be a spectacular play if you make that one. Double fake by Sandy, finding Rudy Lingane for the floater. Still cannot connect, but he secures the ball again. Mario Wisa for two. It's a back-to-back -back rebound for Shellis Knights. Firman Rinugro taps the ball back to his teammates. Rudy Lingane loses the ball to Mike McKinney. Anthony Tucker that's, with a great Euro step. That's a bad play. If you see, I mean, like, in, personally, Mario is open from the last play for uh, Shellis Knights. Rudy can just, like, drive it and then pass it to Mario. He's open wide on the left side. This is the second time when Rudy Linga and I try to find Mario who cuts from inside. But again, the Chongson Kung Fu players just read that pass and steal the ball. This time, Mike McKinney is, st is stealing the ball. Yeah, and, uh, and, it, and it cost Chalice Knight. He, he, they paid it with a, a leading score from Chongsun Kung Fu. So again, uh, second turnover by Rudy Linganai. Uh, the third, what I mean is the three, third turnover by Rudy Linganai this quarter. So quick turnover. Under one minute, Dion. 32 seconds left on the second quarter. Meantime, this quarter, Kung Fu is leading by one point. And they stretch it to a three-pointer with that great layup by Anthony Tucker. Ooh, he's having some taunting against Brian Williams. This is what I call a game, Abby. <laughs> I didn't expect that from a guy, uh, you know, like the face of Anthony Tucker. <laughs> he's kind of like a cool uncle type of guy, yeah. you know. <laughs> but when you mess around with him, he has something to say, especially to Brian Williams. I'm wondering what he said at Brian Williams. You know, only if we have uh, the mic on Brian Williams. Five seconds to go before we end this game. And Good Mario Wiesa! Great layup at the buzzer. So 41. the scores. 
40 to CLS Knights Indonesia to Kung Fu is leading by one point, 41. This is, this is exactly the same score that CLS Knights had on the, la uh, the previous match, 40 to 37. <laughs> and now they have a four, another 40. So it's basically a good offensive play by both teams. 40 points by CLS Knights Indonesia and also Kung Fu with 41. So it's a great two quarters and we are going to be back with more action in the first half. As you can see on your screen, the both teams is basically even Steven. And now we can see one of the key plays on the second quarter between these two teams. It's a good quarter, especially for the Chongsun Kung Fu. Yeah, here's, uh, here are the highlights of the both team. Mike McKinney kind of feeling it in the second quarter, finding Anthony Tucker with the Euro step one, two, just like James Harden perfecting it. McKinney, for, for, for the first game, I think McKinney is blending pretty well for Chongsun Kung Fu. Yeah, and also we can see on your screen the CLS Knights is trailing by one point against Chongsun Kung Fu. It's gonna be an epic battle. We cannot wait to begin the second half. But you know what, Abi? Yes. We need a break. We will be back for more ABL action right after this. Don't go anywhere.
We're back again, getting ready to begin the third quarter, the second half between the CLS Knights in Indonesia against the Chongsun Kung Fu from China. The score is 44, the Knights trailing by one point again, the Chongsun. Yes, uh, we have a CLS Knights. We are very, we are very effective from the arc. We have 39% with seven of 18 from the two-point line. You know what, Abi, it's a great quarter, especially from Mario Wisang, who already scored 16 points tonight, having a six field goal against 11 shots. So it's a good strategy by the CLS Knights, who's pacing behind Mario Wisang. Yeah, CLS Knights out rebounds Chang Sun Kung Fu 31 to 28. This is, this is actually, they're doing their homework. Yeah. The, uh, they keep being out rebound by the opponent, but tonight we see the statistics: nine assists from Shallow Knights and twelve from Chongsun Kung Fu. But another turnovers, homework for Shallow Knights. This is the stats that they need to work out: twelve turnovers in the first half. And you know what, Abi, the player of the second half, just what I said, Mario Wisang. And now we are going to have an interview with Mario with our reporter tonight, Ardo. Take it off, Ardo. Good evening, ABL fans. You're joining us at the halftime here of tonight's game between CLS Knights and the Chongsung Kung Fu. I'm right here with the man himself. 14 points, 4 7 from deep with three assists. Mario. How do you feel about tonight's match as you're coming in, going up against the Kung Fu? I mean, we know they're the number one team in the league, or top team in the league, one of the top teams. So, I mean, they're, they're a tough team. They got size, they got good players, they got good personnel, they got a good coach. So, we know what we're up against tonight. Right. And um, I just want to ask, at this particular moment in the game where it's 40-41, uh, did Coach Nugoho said anything different for us to adjust? Or, or what do you see in the defensive end or the offensive end? Do you want to point out to us tonight? I mean, we just got to keep um, uh, crashing the boards because they got size. They're a good rebounding team. So we got, it's got to be a collective effort, uh, gang rebound, and, and just, just push the tempo. I mean, that's our game because, you know, we're not that big. So we're just going to try to rebound and, and try to push the tempo every chance we can. All right, folks, you're here to yourself. Up the tempo and rebounding the second half. Coming up to you, back to you, uh, Dion and Abby. So that was a great interview, Abby. Yes. You know what? Crashing the board, that is the, also the key factor against the uh, Chongsun Kung Fu is leading in height and size. And keeping up the tempo. Keeping up the tempo is important. One of the key rebounds, as, as we expect from Brian Williams, he leads with the nine rebounds, scores uh, a, a great point too with seven points. Uh, nine, nine boards and seven points for Brian Williams. They need to put more effort with, uh, for the rebounds on the boards because in the second quarter uh, the CLS Knights having like very uh, some kind of trouble trying to secure the offensive rebound maybe it's the size yeah on the, on the, on the other hand Anthony Tucker's 15, 15 points and 3 assists 1 steal and 6 rebounds wow well, pretty, pretty great for a, for a player like Anthony who plays in point guards so leading uh, for the Chongsun Kung Fu just like you said, Anthony Tucker with 15 points. But also, we need to watch out for their local players. Guo Kai is also already had seven points together with Justin Howard also with seven points. As we can see on each quarter, the first quarter, CLS Knights Indonesia is leading 27 with 20, but getting outscored in the second quarter where uh, Chongsun Kung Fu is scoring 21 points against 18. Yeah, so, so now it's 40 to 41. So one thing that they need to do, do you have any point about their maybe defensive strategy or what the Knights should do in this third quarter? Yeah, well, obviously, from my opinion, they need to play like the first quarter. Actually, in the first five minutes of the game, they pass the ball around. They found the open man, and they keep this space out on the inside. You know, when you have a team like Chongsun Kung Fu with at least six feet tall, not, there's no player under six feet. It's, it looks like you have three extra guys inside. Yeah. So we need to, you know, space out inside and move the ball around. And you know what? The three points is also a major factor for the CLS Knights Indonesia tonight. 
And of course, they need to maintain, they need to score a lot more from the three pointer. Yeah, yeah, you have a 39 to 29. Celeste Knight 39%, and uh, Tongson Kung Fu is 29% beyond the arc. And 30, 35% from the two points, and 34 points, 34% uh, from the two points field goal for the Tongson Kung Fu. Yeah, also the local players for the Tongson Kung Fu basketball. This guy, number 14, Bo Kai, is already leading the board with seven points, one assist, and of course, he's playing a great factor for the Johnson Kung Fu. Well, let's talk, let's talk about Justin Howard right here. You know, in the age of 36 years young, he still plays in a very high level of basketball. Yeah, so this two guy, Anthony Tucker, and of course, uh, Justin Howard is going to play a major factor especially we are heading to the second half the third quarter is beginning real soon but before we move on to the third quarter we are going to have a short break so don't go anywhere more abl action coming up next seconds before we begin the third quarter or the second half between this epic battle between CLS Knights Indonesia against Chong Sun Kung Fu. It's going to be a great quarter, Abi. Yes, for sure, Dion. And uh, an exciting note that I took down here is that uh, there are only two players who connect to the rim from CLS Knights, which are Mario Wuzang and Sandy Kurniawan. And there are three players only from Chong Sun Kung Fu, which are Anthony Tucker, Tongren and Mikini. Yeah. All right, we are going to begin the third quarter. The crowd is excited. I 
I believe also all of you are at home watching via YouTube or also video.com. You are very excited also to begin the third quarter. CLS Knights Indonesia trying to find a way to score by their import player, the Corey Jones. A great start for the Corey Jones. He's 50% from the two points at the first two quarters of the game. So it's a five point scored by the Corey Jones. Also had six rebound in his stats. Nice fake there by Kylan Pyongson. Again, they need to secure the rebounds or the board for the CLS Knights Indonesia. Bogai trying to make an impact, going to put more into the team. But again, the Johnson Kung Fu still secures the rebound. They had another and a lot of second chances with that play. But a, a travel call, yeah, a travel call on Sandy Kurniawan. There were a lot of players around Sandy, so he kind of trying hard to figure out what to do, end up in a travel. Yeah. An extra step for Sandy Kurniawan for the travel. Still, Bukai trying for the three-pointer. He left them open, and he makes that three-point. Kind of odd for a player who has a bad, bad percentage on the free throw line, but a great shooter in a three-point line. He's like uh, having some hesitation, but you know what? He left them open and he makes that shot. And still a one-point game for the Chongsun Kung Fu. Freddy Lish is playing a great tempo for the CLS Knights Indonesia. And this guy is actually the MVP for the first half for the CLS Knights Indonesia, scoring 16 points. Mario Wisa still great offensive rebound. Behind the back play, uh, pass by Mario Wilson finding the Corey Jones. Back again, Mario from way downtown. Ooh, he's in a step Curry mode. He's another foul. Brian Williams just j got caught by Justin Howard. Who actually getting a foul call by the referee against Justin Howard. And the sixth player of the Shellas Knights, which is nice society, <laughs> don't like the call at all. Because actually the referee did not call it a foul. It's just a tangle, tangle between two big guys, Justin Howard and Brian Williams. So Chang Sun, Kung Fu basketball possession with one point deficit between these two teams. Still a close game, folks. Brian Williams already have three fouls. So he needs to be careful for this early foul trouble. Just cannot be fouled out for this game. Again, Brian Williams, monster down there for the rebound. A quick transition. Freddie Lish finding Mario for the floater. Banks it in for the deuce. That's the legend of Indonesia right there. Mario Huzang. He's filling it, Abi, with 18 points in his pocket. A former champion of ABL back in 2012. Yeah, with Indonesia Warrior. And he's showing that he still has a lot on his hands and on his feet. As we can see also on this game, he's already at 18 points. He's feeling it way from the three-pointers or from inside. So it's a great game by Mario Wilson. No look pass from Anthony Tucker finding Justin Howard, but maybe his hands slippery. The ball got out of bounds. Don't ever think about getting a foul from that. <laughs> <laughs> but his slippery hands from Justin Howard cost them a turnover with Mario Wisa leading the way for the CLS Knights Indonesia, trying to break their losing streak. This is going to be a great New Year's gift if they win tonight. Great penetration inside Freddie Lish. The guy that I know, the guy that is not afraid to drive and slicing and dicing and even rebounding against a tall, taller player. But one great move by Johnson Kung Fu. A great ball movement from Anthony Tucker finding Justin Howard, but it just cannot connect. And Mario Wisang is playing very aggressive inside against Mike McKinney, showing them, hey, 
You know what? I got a lot of, you know, experience in my leg in this uh, basketball league. Yeah, he, he, he kind of like, don't reach, young blood. <laughs> Let me teach you some basketball. Yeah, right man. <laughs> This is an experienced player against the rookie who's playing his first game tonight. Mario Wiesang and one! Another score from Brian Williams, yeah. I suppose. Brian Williams try, uh, having this opportunity to make it a three-point play from the free throw line. And make it a double-digit points for Brian Williams. And he missed that one. Ooh, another uh, a great attempt from Freddie Lee to out-rebound Justin Howard, <laughs> who is obviously taller than him. Yeah, Freddie Lee is one of the most brave players. He is like fearless against everybody. He, he can guard like bigger guys, way bigger than him. Would and you? Anthony Tucker, quick three, he missed, getting his own rebound. Great. Almost, Almost a turnover a there. Crowd didn't like that play. Finding Gokai. Jumps on. Oh, what a great behind the back dribble. One handed layup. Back. The Corey Jones with a put back dunk. That play make everybody on his feet. Yeah. I see almost thousands of people right here is on his feet right now. A great behind-the-back dribble from Freddie Leach. Unfortunately, they cannot, yeah. cannot finish, but hey, don't worry, man. I am oh. here. That is how you pump the energy tonight. The Corey Jones with the put-back dunk over a miss by Freddie Leach. And as we can see here, Duke Cruz is loving it. Yeah. <laughs> and a quick timeout called by Coach Charles trying to stop this momentum because the CLS Knights is leading by seven points, 50 to 43, with six minutes, 21 seconds to go in this third quarter. This is CLS Knights basketball. Maximizing the turnover and the miss from the opponents, make it another goal. Yeah. One ball at a time. One ball at a time, a great transition offense. But the CLS Knights, this is their game. They like to play with fast tempo. He sure living it up, isn't he? Yeah. <laughs> Everybody was like, ooh and ah from the crowd <laughs> when Freddie Lee is dribbling it out. And ooh, he missed it, but oh my god. The Corey, Corey Jones punished Deco. the rim. You know, one thing about Deco, off the court, he like, he like and loves to cook. Uh, yeah. Yeah, that's why that's I call right. him like uh, the Cory, the chef. Yeah, Jones. And, and he's cooking it. He's cooking it. Cooking he's it right now. It. The Cory Jones restaurant is open for <laughs> business. 24 hours, baby. <laughs> and this is Anthony Tucker finding Pyong Son and Guo Kai. Trying to find Anthony Tucker that finds Justin Howard for two. A short range from. Justin Howard, number 55, who is actually pretty good. Corey Jones feeling confident after that dunk, trying to fade away, but he just fell short. Mike McKinney on the transition, he makes that two pointers. Like you said before, that was a great timeout. Now they have a quick four points for Chong Sung Kung Fu to cut the lead to three points against the Knights, but almost an end one there by Mario Wissa. But it's not a shooting foul, he's complaining. Yes. Mario's, what? It's not a shooting foul, come on, man. Give me that foul. <laughs> That's all right, Mario Wissa. You get another chance. Oh, is that? That's a, that's a free throw. Yeah, that's a shooting, shooting foul, foul, actually. That's so shooting. Mario Wissa is going to the free throw line, shooting two. A great free throw shooter, Mario Wiesen is also an experienced player. Yeah, experience cannot lie. You know how patient he is, how confident he is taking the free throw shots. A former champion indeed, but he missed the second free throw. Ooh. Tangle around with each other. Chong Sun Kung Fu. Mike McKinney, Grant Williams didn't fall for that fake, but finding number 14, Wu Kai for three. Again, they left him open, and he made the shot if, twice in a row. If you can't see his face, he's like, hey, man, you leave me open? 
He's taking his time. Mario Isam finding Brian Williams from the baseline. Also finding Deco to Corey Jones. They need to move the ball. And this is a great ball movement by the CLS Knights Indonesia. Mario misses that floater. And back to Chong Son Kung Fu basketball. A great transition defense there from CLS Knights. With Sandy poking the ball away from Justin Howard. But Sandy is complaining. No, no, it's, it's Justin's touch, uh, the last ball. Nevertheless, that's a great defense. Yep. That's what we expect from the local players, from the heritage players, from the world players to get together into the defense. See, as you can see right now on your replay, there's still like some miscommunication between Sandy and Corey Jones, but ends up it is a Chongson Kung Fu basketball with under five minutes to go. It is a close game, only one point game between these two teams. This shows that even though Chongson Kung Fu is a new team in the league, it shows their ability to cut down the lead from seven points, now only one point. Chongson Kung Fu is also undefeated after three games. Their last win is against the Westport's Malaysian Dragons back in November 29th, where they are winning with 15 points. But now it's a close game between these two. Anthony Tucker with an easy jumper for two points. Again, a close game, one point game. Already 17 points from Anthony Tucker. So is it? This is going to be an epic battle between Wissam and uh, Anthony Tucker. But now Brian Williams is showing his power inside for the posterized and two point under the basket. Again, still CLS basketball pushing the tempo with the Corey Jones, finding Sandy in the three point line. But you know what? Yeah, the Johnson Kung Fu is not going to let Sandy shoot that ball. But they already back on their feet. Great rebound offensively by Brian finding Sandy for the air ball. For the air ball. From our perspective, it's almost went in into the ring. But this is not a two, three-dimensional TV, so we cannot <laughs> see that perfectly. But a great putback hook by Justin Howard to make it a one-point lead for the Kung Fu. You know who who Justin Howard remind me of? Who? He looks like a Slim Shack. <laughs> <laughs> Slim Shack, really? Still, Sandy is not having the rhythm this quarter. His last three point is on the first quarter, Abi. Yeah, meanwhile, Anthony Tucker with a great move. Stretching the lead into three points with three minutes, 28 seconds to go. Obviously, Coach Coco needs to take this time out. It's a dangerous situation. You don't want. Chang Sun, uh, Chang Sun Kung Fu to stretch the lead even bigger. 13, point, 13 points in this quarter after trailing by one on the first half. Now we are trailing by three. 56 from Chang Sun Kung Fu and 53 from CLS Knights. And you know what, Abi? The match between Mario Wisang and Anthony Tucker is getting real. They both score 19 points. Yeah. And also, other player for the CLS Knights who scored double digit is Brian Williams, the number 33. But Brian Williams needs to be careful because he already got three fouls in his back. Meanwhile, Guo Kai showing his ability to score outside the perimeter with 12 points and number 55 Justin Howard. Justin Howard with 11 points. So this is a great game between these two teams. One team, the home team, is trying to break their losing streak tonight against the undefeated teams who also wanted to stay undefeated. And they, they, the CLS Knights need to keep healthy. They have a very busy schedule. You know, well, Chong Sun Kung Fu had a pretty relaxed schedule on a relaxed. play five weeks ago. Last year maybe, but last you know year. this is going to be a busy game also for Chong Sun Kung Fu. Yeah. So this is the battle between Wee Sang and Tucker tonight, both with 19 points for their team. 
We have B-Boy on the floor right here, Dion. And the Corey Jones also. With the money! Scored by Freddie Lish. Were you guys trying to call him Freddy Licious? Freddy Licious? <laughs> yeah, that's a good nickname for him. Yeah. A big shout out also for Freddy's daughter, Athena Leone <laughs> Lish. This is for you, love. This is for you, Athena. Just two weeks, two weeks old. And Freddy told me that, please give a shout out to my daughter. Officially, we are shouting out to your daughter. Congratulations, Poppy. Well, she cannot talk now. <laughs> she, she's not able to talk right, right now. Yo. Maybe one time you can watch this YouTube video. Justin Howard. Oh, great effort by Freddie Lish. But the referee calls it a foul. It's against the Knights. We need, we need to, we need to have a replay on that. Coach Coco is getting animated. Ooh. It's not feeling good. Coach, we need to be careful. We don't have, we don't need another technical fall. A technical fall. We have so to we can be see on this replay what's going on with that call. So it's a reach-in foul on Freddy. He tangled Justin Howard. Well, now you can see it, folks. If you're playing in a very tight place, just <laughs> like that. Maybe don't, he doesn't realize it, yeah. you know. Please don't he's, be so uh, judgmental. Yeah, he's just, easy to judge. He's just trying to win over the ball. As you can see there, uh, Freddie Lish tangled Justin Howard for the loose ball violation. Anthony Tucker. That's a great defense by B-Boy. That's great what defense. I love about B-Boy. He's like, he's a, he's a defensive kind of guy. Maybe he cannot score, yeah. but he can defend very, very well. So it's a good job for B-Boy to put his hands up against a little shooter like Anthony Tucker. Small, a smaller shooter like Anthony Tucker. He reminds me of Tiang Sun. Who? This, this guy. Oh. Tiang Sun. He, he, he kind of resembles a B-Boy. Yeah, yeah. Right? Yeah. So, uh, some similarity. Yeah. His, his face, his, his, his type of body. He's kind of play, play like B-Boy. There too. This both guy is also a very good defender. Brian Williams securing the uh, missed free throw by Tiong Son, who misses the yeah, he, opportunity. He's zero from zero of four from the free throw line. So maybe the CLS Knights can do like heck at Tiong Son. <laughs> well, he's not a center though, but uh, no. Brandon Lee oh. is feeling it and he makes. He's feeling it. He's feeling it. This is what the LS Knights need from Freddie Lish. Instant scorer who can score inside and outside. A breakaway from the Knights. Arif Hidayat with the easy left-handed player. Shellas Knights are now leading five points from Thompson Kung Fu. With under two minutes to go. One minute, 40 seconds to be exact. A great way to end this third quarter. Again, Cody Jones with a great effort on the defense. Almost securing the ball, but the possession back again. As expected from Cody Jones, he's now back on track on defense, but uh, unfortunately. Justin. Yeah. So the Chang Sun Kung Fu just gathered the ball, secures it, and for sure, Justin Howard as the dominator inside makes the easy put back layup. The pressure sure is on on the, on the home of CLS Knights. Was it a foul? I don't know, but for sure, CLS Knights is still leading this quarter 61 to 58 against the Chongsun Kung Fu. We they had five falls. They already had five falls yes. this quarter, so they need to be careful. We can see that Coach Charles is not happy at all. Yeah, especially with two quick points from CLS Knights Indonesia. Again, great play by Engiel or B-Boy to force the foul against the Chongsun Kung Fu. B-Boy trying to make impact for his new team. Still haven't had a good game with the CLS Knights Indonesia, but tonight he's showing a lot of potential for he, the Knights Indonesia. He's showing a lot of improvement, especially on the defensive Hands on a for Chelsea Knights. Maybe he cannot score, but he can 
play defensive. Brian Kyra. Williams again with the offensive rebound, but the shot clock is running out. So it's a shot clock violation for the CLS Knights. Chongsun Kung Fu basketball. Great defense for Chongsun Kung Fu. And with under one minute to go, the Chongsun Kung Fu trying to bounce back. With 44 seconds to go. This is really a great game between these two teams. Mike McKinney, the new signing for the Chongsun Kung Fu, is trying to make himself. And of course, a great point there by Guo Kai. Guo Kai with 14 points from number 14. Still a one-point game between these two teams. Heading up to the fourth quarter with 15 seconds to go. Arif Hidayat with the fake and for the money! Under 10 seconds, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. You need to shot this ball. didn't realize that the shot clock is running out. Nevertheless, a great quarter for CLS Knights. Out, out, out scoring 20, 24 to 19 on this quarter. So it brings up the total with 64 to 60, where the CLS Knights is leading by four points against the visiting team, Chong Sun. Kung Fu. This is a great quarter, especially for the CLS Knights Indonesia. They score in a variety of ways, inside, outside, and a lot of players all also contribute. It seems like they know their homework, they do it very diligently, and they're trying to get the A plus for their test. And this is one of the highlights of the game. Mike McKinney with the easy layup right handed. Make it look easy. He made it look easy. Yeah, he's a natural scorer when he played at the University of Sacramento. This is also a breakaway from our. You yeah. know, when your guys are having fun, you know the smiles on Arif yeah. when he got the ball and he's driving, you know. That's the kind of play that you want to have on your team. Yeah, a positive energy from Arif Hidayat, who cannot play the previous game against the Singapore Slingers when they had, uh, when Arif Hidayat is having the exam for yep. his postgraduate. Never neglect your study, man. <laughs> so this is See? the third quarter when CLS Knights is out, uh, outscoring the Chongsun Kung Fu 24 to 19. A good yes. quarter by the CLS Knights Indonesia. And of course, the CLS Knight Society is hoping that the fourth quarter is as good as the third quarter. Very tight quarters, very tight rebounding, you know. And besides the, the points, both of the team trying to out-rebound from one another. And we see it's very effective for Brian Williams, very effective for the Corey Jones. And we're about to start the fourth quarter, the last quarter. This is the last quarter, folks. The battle between the home team, CLS Knights Indonesia. Can they break their losing streak tonight? But one thing for sure that one, the one thing that we need to highlight is Freddie Lee Jones. He already in a foul trouble tonight with four fouls. Ooh, need to be careful on that, for delicious. But thankfully, the CLS Knights roster is so deep they had also a great guard in the, their lineup. Yes, if you're talking about guards, Chelsea Knights for sure have a deep bench. But if you're talking about Sanders, that's the whole word for Chelsea Knights. That's one another thing. But now, the beginning of the fourth quarter, Justin Howard is missing the baby hook. And this is a great matchup. Brian Williams again, Justin Howard finding the Corey Jones for the two point. But he missed. Justin shot. Howard is not just is not feeling it right now. Also, Brian Williams in this game. All, also, uh, uh, only 11 points in this game. What a great defensive effort by Brian Williams with the block. Put it to their score sheet. He 
already got four blocks in this game. Yeah, but another three from Chang Sun Kung Fu. 64 to 6. Sorry, another two. two, I mean. It's two point game, under 10 minutes to go. This is the last quarter. Rudy Linganai is back. And this is Bebo penetrating inside with the right handed layup. Ryan Williams with the put back for an easy two. Make it 13 for Brian Williams. A monster inside Brian Williams holding the record for the most rebound in one game with 32 rebounds. Anthony Tucker with a great vision finding his teammates. He'll be careful on that. But again, this is a problem for the CLS Knights Indonesia trying to secure the rebounds. And that time, a great floater by number 17 for the Chongsun Kung Fu. Hong Chong Ren Hei with a floater. Great floater, right? I haven't seen a great duo from McKinney and Anthony Tucker. Maybe because he's new, he's, now, he's not on the court right now. Yep. So an open guy in the Cody Jones. Unfortunately, missing the open shots. Great. Very wide. He's okay. actually pretty good on the field goal. But still missing his two field goal early in this fourth quarter. Arif Hidayat is on the court for Freddie Lish or Mario Wissam is still resting. Illegal screen by Justin Howard getting called by the referee. And now he has three fouls. Three personal fouls on Justin Howard with that illegal screen on Arif Hidayat. That's the same fouls as Brian Williams has. So both of the team has a foul trouble on the center. But as we can see right now, Freddie Lish is back on the court. Freddie, you need to be careful. You already got four fouls on your back. Again, Arif Hidayat is in charge. First team fouls for Changsun Kung Fu. A great screen by Brian Williams for Freddie. is aggressive inside again. The Corey Jones with the putback dunk. This is the second time Deco with a great offensive rebound with this, the putback dunk. If you need a player that clean up your mess, Dickory Jones is the guy. <laughs> the chef is on the kitchen and he is serving a putback dunk tonight. Two great dunks that sure give a great energy to Chalice Knights. Freddy Leash. Again for the body! Freddy, Freddy, Freddy. Also, tonight, he already got is that, is that the power of three passports? <laughs> when you want to score, you need a daughter. Oh, yeah. whoa. <laughs> that's, that's sure. That sure is. That sure is. Yeah, it's a great motivation for Freddy. Now passing to Arif Hidayat for the layup. This is it. CLS yes. Nice basketball. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, the crowds. The crowds are on your feet. So if you're watching this live on video.com, on YouTube, or IMNC TV, I wish you were here. I wish you were here to see this directly. And you feel the atmosphere here. It's very, oh my god, I'm out of words. Yeah, it's for this very play. electrifying tonight. The crowd is on their feet. And you know what? When you are watching tonight's game on YouTube or on video.com and especially on MSC Sports, Sports, you know that tonight is a game is worthy to watch. And of course, the score sheet is now a nine-point lead by the CLS Knights Indonesia with 73, the Chongsun Kung Fu with 64, six minutes, 37 seconds to go until we end the game tonight. If you are a Knights Society, if you are the Sellers Knights fan, we need to cross our fingers. You know what? Because the jinx keep on coming on the fourth quarter where we lead, when we are leading, and uh, somehow we lost our energy. Yeah, but you know what? Coach Coco is trying his way to make sure that he got the W tonight. He needs to begin this new year of 2018 with a victory against the Goliath, which is the Johnson Kung Fu. On, my, on our personal note, Justin Howard, I don't know what happened with this number 55, only 40% under the rim, 6 from 15. Yeah, so that means Brian Williams is doing a great job against Justin Howard, who only 
scored 15 points. That I agree with you. Again, there's a great defense by the Corey Jones. He is actually playing a great defense and playing his role as the energy guy for the CLS Nights Indonesia. I guess uh, these two weeks breaks gave a great effect for CLS Knights. Great and again, Freddie Lish tonight with 13 points but with four fouls. Freddie and Arif trying to keep up the tempo, not falling into the Chong Sun Kung Fu play. Freddie Lish with a fadeaway doing the dirk, but it's just short for air ball. Well, Freddie, you don't have the German passport, so <laughs> don't try to be Dirk Nowitzki. But he got a lot of passport. He got yeah. Australia passport, USA right? passport, Thailand passport. Try to get a German passport and try to do it again. Meantime, the new signing, the new acquirement, Mike McKinney misses the first attempt, but he makes the second one thanks to Justin Howard, who secures the rebound and passes to him. McKinney trying to make a foul. That was a contact, but not a foul for him. And meantime, the CLS Knights Indonesia trying to control the tempo. B-Boy is playing aggressive, trying to penetrate, but cannot connect for the two points. He's actually trying to make his first score on ABL. On the other hand, Justin Howard just laid it up. Easy score. DeCorey Jones is furious and he's complaining that Guo Kai is pushing him away from Justin Howard. But the play must go on. It's a four-point lead for the CLS Knights Indonesia with five minutes, 18 seconds to go. As expected from these two teams, a very tight games. Back to back, you can feel leading change. You can feel the intensity in the Gorkarta Jaya. I can feel the intensity on the bench from the Changsun Kung Fu. Yeah, of course. Can you see the face? <laughs> the five minutes is very crucial, especially for the home team who's trying to break their losing streak. Anything can happen. Anything can happen. The impossible is, is nothing in basketball. I say that. You said that this is David versus Goliath. This is Goliath versus Goliath, <laughs> in my opinion. Yeah. And we can see here, the lead. We are leading four points. But anything can happen. You remember the game between yes. CLS Knights Indonesia against the Hong Kong Eastern Long Lions. I know, right? I know. They're leading by three points with three points to three, three seconds to go. But you know what? I can still feel <laughs> when Christian Stan Hardinger make that three free throws in a row. Miss all the free throws, but he just didn't miss yeah. his last three. The last three is... But you know what? Back to the game. With five minutes, 18 seconds to go. CLS nice possession with Arif Hidayat is in charge for the playmaking for the CLS Knights Indonesia. One of the local players that have been playing since junior high school was a CLS Knights junior and now he's playing on the high level of Asian basketball. So he truly is a product of the CLS Knights Indonesia. Still playing with Freddie Lish with foul trouble uh, and also B-Boy is also playing a heavy minutes because uh, Tiong Son is maybe a mismatch with the yes, backboard for the CLS he's a, he's a great match actually versus Tiong Son. Because Tiong Son is a pretty good defender, he's, he got the size, he got the leap, the bounce to secure the rebound. So maybe putting B-Boy is a good strategy by Coach Koko. Yeah, 29 years old, 6 feet, 3 Indonesian Filipino guy. You can play on both offensive and defensive ends. Again, Freddie Lee is playing aggressive inside, trying to find Brian Williams. But last touch is on Justin Howard, but the referee corrects it <laughs> to be the uh, Chongsun Kung Fu basketball. Is he limping? Maybe he, that is the way he walks. <laughs> okay, that's a swag type of world from Justin Howard. Yeah, but you know what? Mario Wisang is back on the court for the CLS Knights Indonesia. We need our legend here. Already got. He just cannot miss the last five minutes of the game. 19 points in his back. Trying to secure the rebound. Great steal by Freddy Lish. But a great defensive on Anthony Tucker. Yeah, great stop there by Tucker. 
But you know what? Mario Isam finding the open guy on the Cody Jones who cuts inside. But getting pressure right by the Chong Son Kung Fu defense. Anthony Tucker, a lethal shooter inside, uh, outside. He just he just know that it, it, it didn't went in and just like go trying to uh, rebound the ball. This is the factor for the for the Chong Son Kung Fu securing the rebounds. They got a second chance to score right there from Mike McKinney. As expected from the guy that the Chongson Kufu was trying hard to get him into the team. He say, they say that they always trying to get McKinney to their roster, and they're very happy to have him. But a missed three-point shoot shot by the Corey Jones, who you can say wide open for that shot, but he missed the shot. It's still two points lead. Great find by Anthony Tucker to find Young Son inside. That is one thing for Anthony Tucker to have a great vision on the court. This is a note for Shellas Knights. They are they have been scoreless on the last two minutes. And now they're even on 7-3-3 for both of the team. 73 each against the Corey Jones with a fake. Finding B-Boy for three. But still cannot connect for the CLS Knights Indonesia this quarter. This time we can see Anthony Tucker is in charge. It's open. And a great shootout display by Anthony Tucker. A nice society on a six-man, six-player of the CLS Knights. Knight to bring the hype up. Again, the Corey Jones trying to even things up, but good, great! Play by Brian Williams, but misunderstanding with Brian Williams, uh, with Freddie Lynch, who's actually open. Is that, he's actually open. We can see on Brian Williams' face, he's not very happy with that. No look pass by Brian Williams, just cannot connect with Freddie with that fancy pass. No look pass by Brian Williams. Do we and still have a timeout? He's also a great shooter. There are only two times out left. The last, last, last three minutes of Shellas Knights, I think they need to have a timeout. But you know what? Mario is an experienced player who knows what to do in this crucial situation with five points deficit. Shellas Knights Indonesia with two minutes to go to end this game. Five seconds on the shot clock. Freddy Lynch with a great move and for the money! This is what they need from Freddie Lish. A quick three-pointer to make it a two-point game. And less than two minutes on the game. A great cut. Walk high. Remember, remember when we yeah. talked about the cuts and slices around the perimeter from the Chang Sun Kung Fu? That's Chang Sun Kung Fu, the basketball style yes. of play. And great find by Anthony Tucker to find Guo Kai who cuts inside for the easy two. Brian Williams from the corner three cannot connect with one minute, 35 seconds to go. Only a four point lead for the Kung Fu. And Anthony Tucker is slowing things down, maintaining the tempo, controlling the ball and trying to maximize the shot clock. Yes, meanwhile, the Shalas Knights need to put their hands up. But again, there's a mismatch between Freddie Leach and Tiong Son. This is a great advantage for the Chong Son Kung Fu. And they forces the thing inside. Again, a great play by Anthony Tucker, who controls the tempo, controls the shot clock, and then end up finding Tiong Son for the two. Give credit to the Chong Son Kung Fu who makes space for Tiang Sun to have a mismatch against uh, Freddie Leach. So it's a six-point game. Uh, it's going to be over in 1 minute 17 seconds on the game time. CLS Knights Indonesia timeout. Coach Coco needs to bring their, his play to maintain or to cut the lead. If you still have anything on your sleeves, Coach Coco, this is the right time just to let it out, bring it out on the game plane tonight. And you know what? He brings Sandy back in the court. 
But maybe you can find an open guy in Freddy who tonight he is on fire already with 16 points and he's feeling it from the three points. Freddy Leach with 40% beyond the arc. So this is a great moment for especially for Freddy Leach and Sandy to make it a three-point game on the CLSI Indonesia. Still a quick foul there by Anthony Tucker to break the play. So it's actually a good foul yeah, on for Anthony Tucker. Well, Freddy, Freddy Lee's checking the wave. <laughs> you know what? I'm going to put the ball on Mario. So Mario already got a good 19 points in his back against the bigger Anthony Tucker. With man one minute, 10 seconds to go. Mario Wissam forces the three. Maybe Anthony Tucker got a piece of it. And then Brian Williams with a rebound and get fouled by Justin Howard. Four fouls right now for Justin Howard. So actually, this is going to be a crucial free throw for Brian Williams to cut the lead into a four-point deficit. Everybody is on their feet. Some are praying for Brian Williams make one of two from the free throw line. But it's for a perfect, uh, perfect situation if Brian Williams makes this second free throw to be a close game, four yes. points. He is seven, 70 percent from the free throw line. As you can see on your scoreboard, Brian Williams already got 14 points and 20 rebounds. Another double double for Brian Williams. A full court press by the CLS Knights Indonesia, trying to force a turnover. But Mike McKinney is very quick. With under one minute to go, Mike McKinney with a layup and a penetration. And we can see Freddie Lish also securing his own miss and put back for two. Freddie Lish just cannot let one player trying to outrun him. Yeah. If you can score, I can score better. 18 points for Freddie Lish in this game with 50 seconds to go before we end this epic battle between the CLS Knights Indonesia and the Chongsun Kung Fu from China. 80 for Knights, 84 for Kung Fu. A timeout called by Coach Charles. Both of the coaches are trying hard to outscore the opponents. Remember, we're, we, we're, we were talking to Coach Charles about the team and their energy that they're trying to do and they always have the philosophy that we need to take this one at a time yeah one possession at a time but as we can see on this game already with the fourth quarter we can see that how Chongsun Kung Fu is dominating the boards they just having they're outscoring the CLS Knights Indonesia with their second chances yeah, they, just, they outscore us 24 to 16 up till now. So, as you can see now, the host is trying to pump out the crowd, still trying to give a motivation for the crowd to cheer up for their home team, the CLS Knights Indonesia. Yo, it's still a lot of time to go, Abi. Yeah, that's what we need from the uh, home court advantage. You know, we're not alone, we're in this together. And the crowd of TLS Knights in Indonesia are absolutely on this. So, this is it. A great defense, forcing a turnover, but a slippery floor. Back to Mario Wisa, finding the Corey Jones for the three. Unimportant play on that. Everybody's we're falling down the floor. The crowd is on their feet. Everybody is standing on their feet, trying to cheer on their favorite team, the CLS Knights in Indonesia. With 38 seconds to go, they are down by one point only. Yes, thanks to Decorey Jones. Well, he failed to connect his other two, three points. Now he made it on a very important moment. So that is a great three points by the Corey Jones who missed his previous two. I see but he, did, here. He, did just, he didn't stop to shoot. When he's open like this, he shoots that ball 
and hoping that it will connect for the money. This play shows how Freddie Lee never give up. Show a great fuse on the court. With 32 seconds to go, Mike McKinney is getting pressurized by B-Boy trying to steal the ball with 11 seconds on the shot clock. Justin Howard is getting left open and passes to Mike McKinney who, who fails to connect with three points. But you know what? 12 seconds, they need to do something. But you know what? 10 seconds to go. Mario is having the ball. They need to shoot it from the three-pointers. Still got two seconds to go to Corey Jones with a desperation shot. Brian Williams is still complaining that he got fouled in the corner, but the time is over. The Chong Son Kung Fu still undefeated tonight. They're beating the home team, CLS Knights Indonesia, with a close game. CLS Knights Indonesia, 83. Chong Son Kung Fu, 86. Wow, what a game. What the a crowd tight is still game. standing on their feet, Abby. They cannot believe, just like I cannot believe, that 86 to 83, a very close game between these two great teams. The Curry Jones were on the ground. Yeah, he's Oh my upset. God. What a game. What a great game. As you can see on your screen, the home team is lost against the Chang Son Kung Fu is still undefeated with four wins and zero losses. CLS Nice Indonesia 83, Chang Son Kung Fu 86, but a great effort by the Knights tonight displaying that, you know what? We are not afraid of you. You are undefeated, but for sure, it's great chance for their them to defeat we, them. We don't, we just, they just don't care whether you are the first or the second on the league standings. We will fight back. We will do our best, as we can see on the night, with us 86 and 83. That's what CLS Knights basketball is. And so we're about, we're, how about we see another highlight from the boat of the yeah, team, Dion? It was a great game. The CLS Knights, the game just getting decided in the last seconds. The Corey Jones got a chance to make it even with his three points. But as you can see in the highlight, the key moments of the game, as we can see Mike McKinney, the new signing, playing a great game tonight, finding Guo Kai in transition, a fast pace. This is also good job, Mike McKinney. Your first game ends up in a victory. I guess it's a, it's, yeah. a, it's a double double game for McKinney. Yeah, may, he played a major factor in the fourth quarter. 16 points from McKinney and a great assist from him as well. Yeah, but Freddie Lish in the other side for the CLS Knights Indonesia also Man. playing a very big, great players for the Freddie Lish. So Freddie Lish, Mario Wisang is also playing a very good game. But heads up for you, uh, Chong Son Kung Fu. Especially for you, Coach Charles. Congratulations on your victory. Yes. And tonight, Coach Charles is getting interviewed by our Ooh. reporter, Ardo. So, off to you, Ardo. Let's talk with uh, Coach Charles, who is very humble. Yeah. And uh, he welcomes us very well. You know, we talk about a lot about basketball on and off court, and we cannot wait to talk with him. And you know what? Coach Charles displaying a great strategy in the end of the quarter, trying to stop the momentum of the CLS Knights Indonesia, and the strategy is working off perfectly. But now Ardo is ready with Coach Charles, so move on to you, Ardo. Hello, guys. Back with me, Anindya Putri, now I'm with Coach from Kung Fu. Hello. Good evening, Coach. Good evening. Congratulations for you. Thank you. Game. Thank you very much. They and gave us I would like to ask you about what is the biggest challenge of uh, tonight, tonight game. I mean, they're a team that plays with so much energy and emotion here at home. Uh, I also think it's a tough court to play on. It's very slippery, so 
I think they are more familiar with that environment, but we can't find excuses. We had to find a way to win it. But uh, hats off to them. They played with so much energy and motion. They made a lot of shots. And I think we escaped with that win a little luckily. Did you expect a tight game tonight? Oh, yes. I mean, I think CLS is a very, very good team, especially at home. I mean, wh whenever you have a lot of guys that can make shots, if they're on a good shooting night, especially early in the game, they feed off the energy of the crowd, and that's what they did. They made six threes early on, and from that moment, they had a 15-point lead, and they believed. But this is a team that believes. This is a crowd that believes, and hats off to them. It was hard. And my last question will be, what is the key success of your team tonight? I mean, we, we got back to what we do a little more in the uh, starting in the second quarter. We moved the ball a little better. We defended a little harder. Um, I mean, we still have a lot of work to do. We just brought in Mike McKinney, and that kind of changes the complexion of the team. Uh, we're definitely convinced that we're going to be better in the long run. But right now, we're playing with some hesitation that we didn't have before Christmas, and we're going to have to get back to work to correct that before Saigon. Thank you so much for your time, Coach. Thanks Good luck for, for your night game. Thank you very much. Back to you, Dion and Abby. All right, thank you very much, Annie, for the interview. What a humble coach, and congratulations one more time on your victory, Coach Charles. Yeah, well, we, we can see how he put on the jacket again. <laughs> In the game, he's like, oh man, this is so hot. This the game is very intense. I need to take it off. And you know what? And tonight, it is a devastating loss for the CLS Knights in Indonesia. It is a great game, a close game between these two teams. As we can see in this final game summary, they out-rebounded the CLS Knights in Indonesia. CLS Knights with 52 rebounds and Changsun Kung Fu with 55 rebounds. And again, you know what, Abi, the turnover is a factor for the CLS Knights Indonesia. Yeah, but we, we, we got to give some credit to the CLS Knights. Remember on the first half, they have 12 turnovers. And on the last uh, two quarters, they only have five turnovers, which is like a great yeah. improvement for the CLS Knights. So, once again, folks, CLS Knights still cannot break their losing streak with one win and five losses. They are still standing in the bottom of the league table but you know what we're going to win eventually. still believe remember still how, believe. how Cleveland Cavaliers you know ha had a, a rough start on this season on yeah. the NBA but now they keep winning and winning that's the process that we need to believe in CLS Knights so that is the most important thing tonight for the CLS Knights society that we believe we believe and we still believe so it was a great game tonight Ardo the final score the CLS Knights Indonesia 83 and the Chongson Kung Fu 86 for sure, we just cannot wait for another game of Asian Basketball League. Yeah, let's, Again, just, let's just focus on the next game. Focus on the next game. Again, thank you so much for watching. And finally, my name is Dion Edward. And my name is Abi Bayu. Say thank you and good night. Selamat malam semuanya. So I sit here.